Today, I'm exploring backcountry dirt roads that are along a canal system to see if I can catch some fish. So hopefully there's some fish in this system and I can get tight today for you guys. Stay tuned, it should be a fun episode. I don't know for sure, 100% sure, but you guys comment below if, you, if that's a molly or not. Look at that fish. We have another species. Freshwater tarpon. I think. I'm on. Oh yeah. We are all creatures of habit. And my habit is getting up early in the morning and going to have breakfast, maybe some croquetas or some empanadas with some colada at the local Cuban restaurant before I start my day. But you never know what the day is going to bring. I had a total stranger walk up to me at the truck while I was fishing and this is what happened. All right, boys and girls, today I'm doing a little roadside bridge fishing. Just checking different locations. Seeing if I could catch some fish. I'm just gonna be pulling over on the side of the road and uh, throwing out a lure, trying to hook up. I see a ton of fish, but they are not the fish that I am targeting. My last video, I caught one of them. It's a Mayan cichlid. Give a better cast over here along the ledge. Oop, right in the grass. What's up, man? Burn, see you? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I, I saw the truck. I yeah. I recognize the truck. Nah. I saw the monster mic and the tags in the back. <laughs> I had to go say hi. Yeah, how you doing, man? Not too bad. How you doing? Did you get any work in here? Nah, I just got here. I looked. There's Mayan cichlids and stuff, okay. but. There was a group of snook a little while ago. I believe it. That's why I came over here. So. The, one, the one thing I came down here to catch, I haven't yet. Yeah. That's actually what I want to catch today. Y'all's videos but, are what got me here. Yeah. I live in North Carolina. Oh, okay. I got family in North Carolina. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> if you want to hop along, we can try and catch them. Remember, guys, CEO Fishing is brought to you by The Real Hooker Bait and Tackle, Nines Optics, and Livingston Lures. So we are matching the hatch for what these fish feed on in the system here. Just hitting this little retention pond. And we're gonna try and catch some bait. This is exactly what we're looking for. Little Mayan. By the way, introduce yourself. Oh, I'm Hunter. <laughs> Hunter, he met me at the bridge a while ago. We've been fishing, looking for some spots for a minute. I'm just now asking his name because I wanted to do it on camera <laughs> this whole time. I'm like, I'm trying to stage this the right way. But uh, he wants to catch a snook or a tarpon. He already caught some peacock bass. He's from North Carolina, but let's see if we can get a tarpon now. Look at that fish. Ooh, those are beautiful. Beautiful fish, beautiful bait. <sighs> you want to try? Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just catching some bait fish right now. You just go to the spillway too? Uh, yeah. Waiting for that rain to catch up to us too. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of little cichlids and uh, mines and stuff in here. So. Yeah, I got, we got swim baits. So we just got to throw some live and then throw the lures. See what happens. Channel? Huh? Do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah. It's familiar. What's your name? Brian, the CEO. Oh yeah, of course. You <laughs> yeah, yeah. How you doing, man? I'm filming right now. <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Neil. Neil? Nice to meet you, man. Well, good luck. You're going for snook and stuff, right? Yeah. What I like about these baits too is they're hardy. Like the shiners and stuff at the shop, they die so fast. He just caught a selfin molly. I believe that's what it is. Guys, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, but that's what I think it is. Although I don't see a selfin, so I think I'm absolutely incorrect. I don't know what this is, but the mouth is the same as the molly. Hey, into the bucket. So we got three different species of baits. We have another species. What is this, a baby Goliath grouper? <laughs> well, let's just take these and go. I have no idea what that is. I mean, me neither. Someone will know. All right, it's time to uh, bait up. See if we can catch some fish. Comment below if you know what types of fish these are because uh, a couple of them I've never seen before. That's a tarpon. That, looks like a decent one. that is a tarpon. Oh, oh no. <laughs> They're here. They're here. They're here. Let him run. Why? 
Oh no. I didn't do anything on that one. Is he still on it? No. Just running? Oh. No, he didn't even break it. Well, that's tarpon fishing for you guys. Sometimes you land them, sometimes you don't. And for Hunter, he had two shots and both times, one it broke off, the other one it just spit the hook. And it's not his fault because they're very acrobatic fish. And if you don't get that hook set into that bone or in the corner of the lip, 90% of the time, it's going to spit the hook and you're going to be casting again trying to catch another one. Sorry, Hunter. I really wish I could have landed the fish with you. But uh, you know what? It was still fun. I appreciate you uh, watching the videos and then uh, hanging out. I hope you had fun as well. And uh, you know you know how to find me. Hit me up the next time you're down. Let's go fishing, man. But since I live down here, I decided I needed to go back to try again. All right, I got these size 14 mustad. Um, they're the long shank, and I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, it's too big for the fish. Well, I've proven time and time again that these are not too big. As long as the fish bites the end of the hook, the long shank actually lets it sink down faster without a weight um, versus the, the smaller ones. So I'm going to go catch some more bait fish like we did the other day and uh try and try and catch a tarpon i've got my baby hook i've got my line cutters to cut the tag and uh, we're about to go catch some bait fish gonna try and match the hatch for the type of bait that is in this canal system here so you saw me catching a uh, bait fish here the other day with hunter who i met at the bridge um we jumped to tarpon but you know what i want more than that i need to land one Jumping it is not enough. So we're here to catch some more bait. Again, long shaft, tiny hook. Drop it in. Just like that, I got one fish already. Perfect size Mayan cichlid. There's another one. Look at that. I think this is a molly. I don't know for sure, 100% sure, but you guys comment below if you, if that's a molly or not. Name that fish, okay? Name that fish. I'm gonna call it bait. But yeah, it's like plucking candy from a baby right now. Every drop I'm catching one. My ball jigs are uh, jigging really hard right now on these rocks, but I'll survive, I'll be okay. Trying to get down to the spot. It's a good mile away. So next time you see me, I'll be rigging up. I'm gonna tell you one thing. It is hotter than hell out here. But I got some live bait. Got my rod here. It's a cash in icon with a saltis back bait from Daiwa. Got a 2 -oh hook, J hook, because I like to set that thing. And uh I've got some bait, so I'm gonna start off with one of these little guys, the molly. Pop it through his lip, right through his nose, and uh, we're gonna start fishing, just like that. Turn on the chest mount just in case I get hit pretty quick, you know? Boom. Go ahead and give you guys a wide view, boom. Let you see the rod in my hand, and watch the cast. We're going right out there. And now we wait. So I had come down here and took Hunter, brought him back here because he wanted to hook up on some tarpon. Um, and we did that, we did just that. The only part that we were missing was him landing one. So Hunter, I'm here today to avenge those tarpon for you and get one on land. And not just that, I mean, selfishly, I kind of just want to catch one myself, you know? So uh, we're out here, we're enduring this sun. I got my wife sitting at home with the baby by herself, but uh, that's not gonna stop me from catching a fish, right? Just need something to come by, see it and eat it. So now we wait. Drop some comments. I, I like it when people drop comments on the page. That way I can interact, get a vibe with how everyone is and stuff, you know, ask me a question, tell me I suck, whatever it is, you know, 
let me know in the comments. And when I say it's hot, the other day, I'm sunburnt from the other day. Uh, today I got long sleeves to kind of protect myself a little bit, but it is going straight through this shirt and I'm wearing black again, so that does not help at all. Let's get this back out there a little further. I want to get this right in the opening of that area, right? Right there, yeah. I think I'm on. Oh yeah, I got one. I got him on. That's my first fish, that's my first cast, guys. Oh, don't get tangled. Got him, got him, ah, come on, come on. That is a beautiful tarpon. Come on, now I just gotta get him to land. Don't go too far back there. Oh. God, he's pulling. Oh, he's strong. That's not a little tarpon. Oh, into the mangroves, holy crap. Oh, he came off. No, he's not, no, he's not, no. He Oh, holy crap, holy crap. Oh my, my, oh, oh no. There we go, there we go, there we go. It completely bent the tip of my rod. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh my God, is that on camera? He jumped into the trees and back out. Oh, come on. He's up against the edge now. We pull him out. Oh, retribution, if I can land him. Freshwater tarpon. Freshwater, baby. Come on. Oh. That's a nice tarpon. Another jump? Nope. Whoo. Oh, and he spit it on that one. Oh my god. He spit it on that one. I'm surprised it stayed on through the trees. Oh, no way. I feel sick. I should have had him, but that last jump, that last jump did it. That was a strong fish. He was probably about, about like that. Maybe a little bit bigger. Oh, I hope that was on camera. Oh my gosh. Well, there ain't nothing to do but to throw on another bait, right? And try it again. I was just about to tighten the drag a little bit more because I felt like he was pulling too much and I wanted to like yank it in good one more time. But I mean, he had what, four or five jumps into the trees, ripped it back out of the trees, the line pulling through there. So I'm not surprised that he came off finally. I actually thought he was gonna come off when he first went in them trees. But uh, God, my heart's going. Let me try and get another one. I'll be right back guys. Oh my gosh. Well, I thought he spit my hook. He actually popped the whole line. Uh, I'm using 15 pound. Once we hit noon, 11.30 to noon, the bite absolutely just disappeared. And I got out here late. My first bite was uh, like at 10.30 in the morning. And I've been out here in the afternoon before where there was no bites. So I'm gonna say, if you wanna come to this spot, you better be here at seven o'clock in the morning or seven o'clock at night because that bite goes from on to off real fast. Just so you guys know, I did not get skunked. Check out this next catch, because ain't nobody getting skunked around here. Yeah. Snapper. It was a little snapper, but you know what? At the end of the day, I didn't get skunked because I caught several little fish. They were bait fish, but they were fish nonetheless. But check out this video of the last time I did catch a tarpon there. Uh, it was about a year ago. Some of you may or may have not have seen it, but it was still a fun fight, still a nice fish. Got it. Yep. Oh, mother spit it. That's what we're using, a little cell fin molly on a popping cork. We're just gonna let it sit in the water. On. You got him? Yep. Nice. Oh, I lost your popping cork. It's all right. Cause I just <laughs> twisted it on like a lazy ass. It's okay, man. I lost mine too. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Woohoo! Nice. That's so cool. This is good times right here, man. I'm glad we finally uh got a chance to get over here and do this. To, I got a chance to actually finally hang out, man. Oh, I know it, man. I know it. Right there. Look at that. Little freshwater tarpon. Well, I guess they're a brackish water. Yeah. Same thing, but that's what we came here for. Yeah, now we just need to find a bigger one. Yeah, we need one about what, 10 times this size? Yeah, we can do that. I don't know, man. This water looks like crap. <laughs> Wipe off the lens. Yep, still looks like crap. Hey, we're gonna find out though. You wanna just throw one in? Let's throw one in. There. All right, let's do it. Let's try and climb a fence here, guys. Ah. Very gently. There we go. We got Carlos 305 guys fishing over here. Yo. I'm gonna try and catch ourselves some fishes. He says if I catch a fish first, he's gonna give me 500 bucks. So, all right, he didn't say that, but we're gonna try anyways. All right, so we got a bunch of dirty water here. There's not a lot of heavy flow in this canal system. Um, literally, it's a dead end over here and it goes through some pipes out to the main system out here to the left. So the water's a little stagnant. It's basically just green, algae-filled uh, water. Let's see if we can get a peacock from the bottom. Call of the wild, baby, call of the wild. That's the sound of a feeding peacock. Oh, I missed it, guys. I missed it. That's a freaking stud. Oh, my God. Nice. That's the one we came here for, man. Oh, my God. That one of your PBs? Oh, Because he my sure as hell looks God. like it. Holy shit, dude. Look at this fucking tank. That's the, that was my fish, man. Oh my that was my fish. I don't want to look at it. But I will take a picture for you. Oh, my oh man. God. Hey, that's a stud. Whoa. That's a stud fish. Got something. Peacock. Look at the largemouth chasing him. Look at the largemouth chasing him. Yeah. Look, they're chasing. Yeah, one. There he is. That's a good one. There you go. There he is. Boom. Peacock bass, baby. I don't know if you can see it on this one. Stud. Pre stud. Got him. Got him. Another peacock bass. Oh, can't cast hey. any closer to the edge than that. Fast, 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 fast. Oh, got him. Got him. Are you kidding got me? Him. Got him. You're a pro. Got him. Got him. Got him. Brian, you're a pro. On the art. Finally. Yee! Beautiful, beautiful. Another one, guys. Stop recording. It stopped recording, bro. Stop it. Oh. Stop it. That's no, no, that's record, Brian. No, that's a big. Here's a big I saw like a nine. Oh. Do you see that wake? Oh. Oh, this one is recording right now, right? That one's recording? Oh, well, yeah, you just. Oh, Mike, look at that. No, no, I know. He can't you even jump. Time. He can't even jump. Oh. All right, guys, we got a 10 pound peacock on. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. This is what we do. We got a 10 pounder on, baby. We got a 10 pound peacock. Careful, Brian. Oh, oh, oh. Pull and drag. We got a 10 pound peacock on. Oh, Brian. snap. I got Brian. him. I got him. I got him. I'm good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Ooh. Ooh. No, no, wait, I got him. I got him. I got him. 10 pound peacock on, guys. 
Yo, he's monster, monster. But drag is not loose. 10 pound beat box. This is what we do. Oh. Be careful, careful, careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That boy put on a fight. I couldn't get the GoPro started, but hey, hey, that's Seven. a nice, yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, bro. It's been a minute since I flexed with one like this. Damn, <laughs> guys, that's look at this. Boy. Look at this. Woo, chunky boy. That's a monster in the Miami Canal. Hey, what a fight. Yeah. I love these things. Got him. Oh, got him. I got him. On the worm. Bro, take your time. Where's your, <laughs> phone? Where's your phone? Yo, that's a virus. Oh, the phone's somewhere. It don't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, buddy. Oh, this might be it. Bro. Okay. Bra. I'll get you the kick up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big fish. Yeah. It's a little bigger in the water, but that's a big one. Bro, that's a good fish. Big bite. That's a good fish. <laughs> big, big. Hey. Hey, that's. <laughs> I'll, I'll start the day with that. There it is. That's a chunky boy. Chunky. Guys, until next time, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.